Hey, it's your boy Nathan here, AKA Six Cinema. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Maybe go check out some of my other videos, leave a like, a comment, whatever you wanna do. And to everyone that, that has subscribed in the last month or so, I appreciate it. We are closing in on that thousand subscriber mark. So hopefully it comes soon. I do have to make some more videos. I've been slacking in that department, but I do have a new video for you today and it is on an electric vehicle. And not just any electric vehicle, the Kia Nero EV. So let's go check it out. One of my favorite parts about this vehicle and the exterior are these heartbeat lights right here. Actually, because they're LED on the camera right now, they're probably actually moving like a heartbeat monitor, which is pretty cool. And then we make our way to the rims. You have a nice EV style rim that has aerodynamics. So when you're driving, you're not going through all of that range because range is a big topic and we'll get to it. But 17 inches right here, not massive. But if you want anything bigger, just check out the EV6. We make our way to the back and we have this boomerang light in the back, which I find really cool. But we also have this second color for the rear three quarter panel, which is pretty cool. It doesn't come with all of the colors, but I think it looks sleek with the white. Okay, so another cool feature in the trunk here is the smart power lift gate. So you just stand here and it automatically opens and then you're able to access your trunk space and take a look in the back. You have all this space. Every EV comes with a charger. So you'll have a level one charger in the back where you can plug it into any home socket you have. And we'll talk about charging later. But then when you're done, you got a button up here, click it and it closes itself. It's pretty simple. Another really cool feature is the remote smart parking assist, which allows you to take the car in and out of tight parking spots with the key fob. One of the best features for this vehicle, well, I think it's the best feature, is the digital key to touch. It's where you can use your iPhone or your Apple watch to unlock the car. All you have to do is take your watch, tap it on the car, and you're inside. We're in the future. So to keep with the technology, there is a wireless cell phone charger that is right in the front. You just place your phone down and get a quick charge so you don't have to worry about cables and it's nice and sleek. There's a cool functionality with this vehicle. It's called vehicle to load. And I didn't get to test it out, but basically what it does is you can plug in your vehicle to any accessory that you have. So say it's a coffee machine, or maybe you wanna charge your laptop and it, it takes the battery from the vehicle and it can charge or power any accessory that you have plugged into it. The Nero EV uses a shift by wire system. So you have a turn knob to change your gears. There are USB-C ports everywhere in the back so your passengers can get a charge. The seats are made out of eucalyptus leaves. There's a decent sized sunroof. So if you wanna open that up, get some fresh air. And there's a 10.25 inch screen for the cluster and entertainment media screen. Okay, so the charging port is actually in the front for the Kia Nero EV. And I think this is better because unlike all the other EVs where the charging port is in the back or the gas usually goes, having it in the front, you can just pull into a spot when you're about to charge and then you're ready to go. So there are level one, two, and three three charging stations slash cables that you can use to charge an EV. The level one, which you get with the vehicle, only plugs into your regular house socket. So it is a very slow charge and it takes about 30 hours to get a full charge if you're gonna use that charger. But then you can go up to a level two, which you can have installed in your garage or anywhere around your house. And when you use that charger, it takes about eight hours to charge your vehicle. So if you plug your vehicle in overnight while you're sleeping, just like your cell phone, you'll have a full charge every single day. So a level three charger, which is the best out of all of them, it is a super fast charger. You'll be able to charge your Nero EV from 10 to 80% in about 45 minutes. So the one thing I did notice is that the range did deplete pretty quickly, but I was still getting around 350 to 400 kilometers on a full charge. The only thing that I noticed is I was doing a lot more highway driving than I was city driving. And because of the regenerative braking that the Nero EV has, it does do better in the city than it does on the highway. So it's the opposite of regular cars. So after having the Nero EV for about a week, honestly, it's a really great drive. It's smooth. It's very responsive because it has that instant torque. So you'll be picking up very fast compared to a gas vehicle. Um, 
the look is amazing. It's very sleek. Being able to save money and not paying for gas, that is definitely a plus. Using that level three charger and only having to pay $5 to get 300 kilometers of range, like I'll, I'll take that any day because at one point gas was way too expensive. Will I want to have an EV right now knowing that the infrastructure may not be where it should be? Honestly, why not? It's a great car and I have really nothing to complain about. Test out the Nero EV because it is one of the cheapest on the market and you're still getting great range, you're getting a great vehicle to drive and there's a ton of space. Anyway, that is it for me and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, peace.